Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna make some Chrome text. So first off, let's start with a solid color. I'm gonna make my background to go with a light, light gray maybe. I'm then gonna unlock this layer and delete it. I prefer to have my background set as a color fill. That way I can resize my canvas and I don't have to resize my background as well. It will automatically fill my entire artboard. So that's a cool, cool little tip. Um, grab your type tool and write your text. Let's write Chrome, Command T to transform and I'll resize it. I'm then going to go for now with a black text. And uh, I'll try and find a font that I like. To go with maybe like something a little different and not the usual Helvetica or whatever. Let's see if I can find something kind of cool. This this would work cool, I guess, with a Chrome effect to it. Now I've got all my Chrome effects saved in styles, but I'll show you how to make this one on your own. Let's try and change background so that we can see that a little better. Yeah, that's cool. Right. So let's remove these. <coughs> Sorry about that. First thing you got to do uh, with your text is you can double click on that and you're going to add a contour. You're going to change this curve to this one. It, it will probably be this at the beginning, but look at the difference. So regular and this curve makes it such, it's such it, like the little things that make it really cool. Then you're going to add a gradient overlay. So click here and uh, I used uh, these settings. So you can take a screenshot and copy these. I'm going to go with linear. Make sure you check the reverse box and scale it depending on your artboard size and text size, you're going to need to change this number. And then I went with a gradient, which is white, gray, light, light gray, but not white, another gray and another white. And that's basically it. Lastly, I just add a drop shadow um, with these settings. But as I said earlier, you can change these settings depending on the background color you have and however you prefer them. If you like a longer shadow, you can like increase the size and the distance and whatever. This is my personal preference. And that's it. It's so easy. Look at the effect. It's crazy cool. It looks like actual chrome and it's only two effects applied to it. The coolest thing is we didn't rasterize our text. We didn't convert it to a smart object. Our text is still text and we can edit it and the effect will still be applied. Like how cool is this? You can also change um, the font. and it will automatically apply to it. It's just the best when you uh, manage to not rasterize or type. So cool. Anyways, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please be sure to like and comment if you want to request a tutorial. Subscribe if you like my content. Also, give me a follow on Instagram. I post daily designs on there and short versions of these tutorials, like 15 to 20 second tutorials. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.